<laughs> you don't breathe on nobody. <laughs> Your pets will know. Don't yeah, but that's what you I like need. that's okay at the beginning, but then you like the slight HIV effect. You need to no, build none of that. up. You need to go to that one massage place on Lancashire. They got an ugly Chinese chick that works over there, but she'll suck your dick with cellophane on it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got friends that go over there. They put cellophane on your dick. You got what the fuck is cellophane? Plastic you know, wrap, like you put on a microwave wrap. something. Uh, and they put a scotch tape, like not scotch tape, a rubber band. No. Because they can't get caught with condoms over there. My friend goes over there. He's a filthy animal. They can't wear condoms. He's like 60s. Like, I go over there all the time. They're great. Oh, $180, shit. they fucked That's them. another reason why I don't want to do it, because I imagine the guys that are fucking these girls. Come on, everyone. They're, f- they're worse than the than girls, I think. No. Well, not for nothing. You know Craig Robinson. That's, that's the problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So just get down At least there. I'm clean. Well, because well, you haven't fucked nobody. I that's, fuck. Yeah. You got to fuck some dirty people that got like the hiv to build up your resistance. <laughs> oh, my God. I took my wife out to eat the other night. It was a gay way to... And he brought over the dish, and I go, "Is this two orders or one?" And he goes, "It's two. It's two orders." I go, "The plate looked like it's got the hiv." Dog, he went pale. Like he's yeah. never heard that expression. Like, yeah, it looks like it's got the hiv because the plate looked light. There should have been more fucking clams on it. <laughs> I'm like, the plate's got the hiv. He's like, <gasps> he's probably still in rehab or therapy uh, over that. Yeah, that's fucking funny. Yeah, I would love to. No, I just I'm always been I've always been. A couple of weeks ago, I was talking to this girl. I met her on Facebook. She said she does some stuff. I took her to breakfast one day, and we were talking about YouTube and a bunch of stuff. And she was telling me, you know, how broke she was, blah, 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 blah. We were talking. I remember leaving there, and I can't say it to somebody, you know. This girl was 36, maybe. Good looking girl. No beauty queen. But good looking girl. She's living in her car. You know? She's living in her car. She doesn't have a job. She's fucking struggling for every dollar. You know? She was telling me the positions that she puts herself in for work and what people try to do to her. You know? And I got my car on the way home. You know? And I thought about when I was 21. When I was 21, I lived in Aspen, Snowmass Village. And I was watching all these younger guys, you know, older guys. And I'd see these young girls. And unless you're a fucking idiot, that's not that girl's, that's not that guy's girlfriend. Yeah. You know. And I would look at them. And there was this bar at the time called, not the Paragon, it was called Patty Bugatti's. And I would go to Patty Bugatti's all the time. And I would see... You know, after a while, I started seeing the same girls with different older guys. It's it's the game. And I remember that I asked the bartender once. It was a she. And I said, well, these girls, I'm, I'm, I was 20, 18, 19, whatever I was. I wasn't naive, but I didn't know that game. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know the hooker game and how it worked. <clears throat> My friends had taken me over to the 1040 Club, but that's a disgusting place. It's where you go and buy a ticket and then you fuck a chick in the back. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, New York City, yeah. 1040 Club? $10.40. <laughs> 9 plus tax, 1040 No way. You just put your dick in a hole and there's a chick no, on the other they side? they give you a sticker, like a ticket, and you go in. You can order a drink and just wait then to the chick that you want. There's 100 guys with cologne on. Ah. Uh. These are all the guys that tell you, bro, go to that club in Orange County. There's tons of pussy there. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're at a fucking thing getting pussy. They're paying for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I went there one time, and it was just an uncomfortable experience. To get, uh, I felt dirty. I yeah. felt cheap. You know what I'm saying? But she was also a scoundrel. I mean, when the chick took off her dress, it was one of the ugliest things I ever saw in my life. It was like she had stockings on, and when she took the stockings off, I saw the rashes and the... Uh, all the other shit that went with it. Anyway, she hey, got on They top hide top. a lot, dog. They hide a lot with those stockings yeah. and those pants. And I just remembered it wasn't for me. But I remember talking to that girl one night and going, Do you, you know, are you friends with them? And she goes, You know, I'm friends with a couple of them. I have their numbers in case somebody comes in here asking. He goes, Don't get me wrong. And I was 18, 19, maybe 20. It was 1983. So I was 20. 20. Fuck. And she was telling me that these girls were getting anywhere from 500 to 1,000 a date at the time. And that's if they didn't spend the weekend. Like a lot of guys from Texas would come up 
and go fuck it. Just stay Wednesday through Sunday. That's a twenty thousand dollar weekend. Like a fifteen. Uh, like a 15, if you got it, you weekend. got it. If I, yeah, I guess you know? so. And I remember sitting there and going, you know, I was raised a certain way. I like girls to be a certain way. I didn't have a daughter yeah. then. But you know, if I was twenty one and I had a tremendous body and a beautiful face and I came out here and I ran into these fucking animals that just lie to you and at the end they just wanna fuck you. I would flip it. I would really flip it. I would uh, get a good dear friend of mine and tell him the truth, tell him I'm gonna cut you in and I want you to drive me and I would put my price somewhere. It's that good a pussy, it's 24, yeah. <laughs> it's that good, I get checked up every week and that's what she was telling me. She goes, these girls aren't dirty. They go to the doctor every week. Yeah. They get their pussies checked, they get penicillin shots, this ain't they do the king professionals, dog. Professionals. That, you know, when you deal in the pussy, hell you know, yeah, like the hit squad. If you're, if you're a got... model, you can't go eat White Castle. You gotta <laughs> take good care of yourself and eat yeah. lettuce. It's the same fucking thing, you know. So and I didn't know that about how much maintenance went into being a professional call girl, you know. But looking back at it, like at that time when I was twenty, I'm like, if I was a young woman and I didn't go to college and I had nothing else going on. I would make a short list. I would go, my goals are from December 1st to March 15th up in Aspen. My goal is to pull down 100,000. Straight up. Straight they, up. There's, there's so many like what you're this saying. This is what you do. Your goal is 100,000 a season until I'm 25 and I quit. I move somewhere, I redo my pussy, and I fucking, <laughs> I get vaginal rejuvenation. Huh, you get I the memory foam put back in. And nobody knows nothing. And I'm, I got a house. I got a car, I got credit, and I don't have to deal with all this stuff. Now, a lot of women can't do that. No. A lot of men can't do that. I mean, I couldn't just fuck somebody, but I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, think about it. I you could, know, dog. I, a, I would fuck chicks for 10 grand a week. If I'm, you could? I'll, if fat, I, I ugly, would right now. Dirty, whatever. Give a fuck. It's a woman that's 70 that's got tons of money. Okay, look, it. Need a pussy. if you're 70, you just can't, like, yeah, I'll do it, dog. But, like, she has to be, like, she can't be, like, on a breather and shit. Like, she has to be able to walk, like, functioning. You can't just, like, bring a chick in, like, hey, dog, my aunt wanted to bone a chola before she died. Like, no, nah, I'm not boning girls on hospice. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you can walk. Your standards. I will you, fuck. You, 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 like fuck. Nancy Pelosi, you fuck. Her. I'll fuck all I day. I give us some dick, too. Hold on. <laughs> We're going in like fucking Marines. You understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.